these are the colors that we use for color theory. It says 12 colored pencils. There's not. I need for you, when you get them, to take them all out of your container and set that aside because I don't want you to leave them in the container. If that container rolls off the table and it falls, then it breaks, breaks the pencils. So likewise, like if you tap your pencil, if you tap your pencil on the table, you break the lead on the inside. And so when you sharpen your pencil and the lead comes out, sharpen it, lead comes out, that's what's going on. You either dropped it or you're tapping it and you broke the lead on the inside. So take all of them out right now and make sure that you have these four colors. You're going to have your three primary colors, yellow, blue, and red. And then you're going to have one secondary color. And we have that one secondary color, violet, because the reds are, it's kind of difficult to get a true red. And this red is kind of a red orange. And when you try to make violet with that, pfft, ugly, really ugly. So get out all four of your colored pencils. Do not leave them in the container. Don't tap them and lay them on your table. Make sure you've got all four. If you don't, raise your hand and I'll help you out. Okay, turn to the page on color and we're going to fill out this packet with these colored pencils. So in this cylinder, you have your three primary colors, yellow, red, and blue. And then I also have one secondary color in there. I have violet in there. So you need to make sure that you can tell the difference between the blue and the violet. If you're not sure, make a little swatch on your paper so you can tell. Because if you mix up the blue and the violet, it gets confusing. And I have that one secondary color in there because it's difficult to find a really good red colored pencil that will mix. This one is called Scarlet Red. And most of you will have this one. And really, this red looks like a red orange. So we have a violet in there so that we have, don't have to do with that. All right, so start at the top here. Color. Color is an element of art which is produced when light strikes an object and is reflected back to the eye. We are not going to circle that because that's not going to be on the test. What will be on the test is this definition. So put an oval around the primary color definition and read along with me, starting with the word primary colors. Begin. Primary colors, the three basic colors from which all other colors are made. Good. Now, in these spaces, I want you to fill in with your three primary colors. I get a nice swatch of red, yellow, and blue. Now, if you don't have those four colors in your packet, raise your hand and I will come around and get you those colors. You might have more than one. If you have more than one of the three primary colors or the violet, that's okay. Just keep it. It's fine. Secondary colors. Circle that definition. That will be on the test. And read out loud. Begin. Secondary colors. Created by mixing equal parts of two primary colors. Very good. Now we're going to mix these three colors with only these three colors here. With the exception of the violet, go ahead and take your violet and color in the last space. That's the only one that we're not going to mix. Go ahead and color in your violet. And then the next two we are going to mix and I need for you not to work ahead on the green and the orange. Okay, go ahead and put your pencils down and super focus on the screen. One, two, three. Okay, so green is created with one part yellow, and I'm going to use the side of my pencil. Notice how I'm holding it on the side with a sharpened pencil, and I'm not going to press very hard. Then I'm going to put one part blue, not pressing very hard. There's oil and wax. There's wax is the medium that keeps the pigment in these colored pencils in one place. So if you press really hard, they won't blend. Then I want you to go the opposite direction at a diagonal this time with the, the yellow, and then one more time lightly with the blue. Now I don't want to see any blue or yellow on this swatch here. Keep on going back over it until you get it nice and blended. No blue and no yellow showing. It needs to be green. Go ahead and shade in your green. Always start, if you've got yellow 
in a secondary color that you're mixing, always start with the yellow because it's a higher key value. So I'm going to do that one again for you. Very lightly, the side of your pencil, start with the yellow, then lightly with the blue. Don't press hard, they won't mix if you press hard. And don't work ahead, please. If you have your own colored pencils, I do not want you to use any of the secondary colors besides the violet we already have. Coat of yellow, light coat of blue. Make sure that we can only see green. Okay, the orange. Orange is one part yellow, one part red. So I want you to lightly color the space with yellow side of the pencil, don't push hard, and then a light layer of red. And when we're done with this orange swatch, we're not going to see any red or yellow. Then go a different direction. I went horizontal. I'm going to go vertical this time with my yellow. And I'm going to gradually start blending those colors. These ends are red. Don't press very hard. Oil or the wax builds up and you won't be able to blend those colors. Okay, go ahead and mix your orange. One part yellow, one part red. And you can keep on layering those up. Remember on green and orange, always start with the yellow first. Intermediate colors, put an oval around that. You will need to know the definition for that. I'm going to read that out loud, starting with the words intermediate colors and begin. Intermediate colors, a combination of equal parts of one primary and one secondary color. When referring to these colors, always list the primary color first. So you always say the primary color before the secondary color. So red violet, for red violet, I'm going to put in two parts blue plus one part red. So I'm going to very lightly start with my red. And then a layer of the blue. Then the red again. And that completes the red violet, but I still need to blend it some more. So I'm going to go the opposite direction now, and I'm going to blend in some red this direction, lightly. I have to do it lightly, then blue, and then red again. Now, I went ahead and did that one with the, the blue and the red colored pencil because I want you to see the combination, how we combine those. But now I want you to do another swatch just to the left here. And I want you to do one part red and one part violet. And just notice the difference. And then keep layering the, the red and the violet. The red and the violet put together, I'm sorry, the red and the blue put together makes the violet it's not a very pretty violet, so I want you to see how, how it looks when you mix red and violet together. So just put that swatch to the left. All right, for the next one, blue-violet, we're going to do one part violet, which is the same as one blue plus one red. That's the same as one violet plus one blue. So I'm going to lay down my violet first. Blue and violet are pretty close to the same intensity and color, so it doesn't really matter which one you start with. The only one of the primary colors that really makes a difference you need to be careful with is the yellow. If you've got yellow in it, then you need to start with the yellow. So one part blue, one part violet, and you turn the other direction. See how much prettier that is with the violet instead of that red-orange? Part violet, one part blue. And I don't want to see any blue or violet. I need those to mix in together. That's Miss Little Finger's favorite color, by the way, blue violet. Okay, the next one is blue green. <clears throat> We're gonna put one part, one part yellow, plus 
whoops, yes, two parts blue. So it's blue green. That is a sad little blue. Oh well. All right, so I'm going to start with, I've got two parts blue, so I'm going to start with the blue. Then I'm going to add the yellow lightly. Because it's blue green and not yellow green, I'm going to start with the blue and then one part, or the second part blue here. So I'm going to turn the other direction. I've got two parts blue, one part yellow there, and turn the other direction with one part blue this direction, one part yellow this direction, and then one last layer of blue. Just remember, don't press hard. You have to do colored pencils, you have to mix lightly. Okay, for yellow green, I'm going to have two parts yellow plus one part blue. Now this one's yellow green, that means yellow is going to be dominant. I'm going to start with my yellow colored pencil. They call me mellow yellow. Use the side of your pencil so you get a nice light layer. And you want to avoid doing that. Don't do this. You want to get a nice solid block of color and you need it to be a very light. Use the side of your pencil, make it very light. So yellow green, start with a light yellow, then one layer of blue, and then another layer of yellow. Other direction, start with one layer of yellow this direction, and then one layer of blue. And then this very last layer of yellow that I'm getting ready to put on, I'm going to press pretty hard with that and really push those colors together and mix them together. Try not to have any yellow or blue showing there. So it's two parts yellow, one part blue. Yellow orange is two parts yellow, one part red. Two parts yellow, one part red. So I'm going to lay down, since it's two parts yellow, I'm going to start with my yellow. Lay down my yellow first. Then I'm going to put one part red. Keeping that red light, don't want it to dominate the yellow, and then my second part yellow. I'm going to turn it the other direction, and whoop, I'm start with the yellow, this direction, and then red. Be really careful. I don't want you to see the lines. I want to see a block of color. I don't want to see lines. And then this last layer yellow, I'm going to press fairly hard. Yellow orange. All right, and our last one is red orange. So it's going to be two parts red plus one part yellow. So since it's red-orange, two parts red, I'm going to start with my red. When I'm done, I don't want any red or yellow showing. And then one part yellow. And then another part red, my second part red. I'm going to turn the other direction. One part red, this direction. One part yellow. And one part red, Two, second part red, this direction. All right. Color. So for this page, you need to know your primary, secondary, and intermediate colors. Primary colors, red, yellow, blue. 
secondary colors, green, orange, violet, and then intermediate colors always say the primary color before the secondary color. So intermediate colors are always going to have two colors together, and they're hyphenated. Okay, get all your colored pencils and put them in your left hand. If you've already put them in your container, take them out. Take them out, take them out, take them out. In your left hand, in your left hand, in your left hand. Put them together with me so that we make sure that they are all the same. All the containers have exactly the same color. So, start with your yellow. Get your yellow. Put your yellow in your cylinder. In your red, in the cylinder. Put your blue in the cylinder and the violet in the cylinder. Thank you.